Uh, Jesse Bates has signed his franchise tag for the Cincinnati Bengals. He's a dog, obviously. He's all the way back. The Bengals are looking to go on a real run. Is that the expectation, you think, of Bengals fans and of Cincinnati Bengals players? Allegedly, there's a report that Joe Burrow didn't like the Why Not Us tag because that makes a slight at the team. Like, Why Not Us is like an underdog mentality, and Joey Burrow doesn't think like that. He thinks they got a team. It, since I love the swagger of Cincinnati, and this has kind of come out of nowhere. You draft the right guy – you can change the entire culture. I think that's what we're seeing, AJ. Yeah, but also they made the right moves around him. I mean, bringing Hendrickson in last year, the dude oh, had an yeah. absolute monster year, very impactful in the playoffs as well. But then you have O-line situation. You you shore that up, hopefully, early on in free agency. If you remember, they signed, what, two, three guys in there. Yep. And it's like, okay, whatever issues they've had, they look like they're addressing them right away. And they have tons of weapons on offense, too. So it's just tough for people to think the Bengals are legit for here on, from here on out. But if you look at them – and you didn't know anything, any history of the NFL, you'd be like, man, whoever these Bengals guys, these guys are good. Outside of Cincinnati, it's hard to take the Bengals serious. Yeah. Right? This is just like the Browns whenever they were getting going. It felt like everybody was on the Browns train, though. Mm -hmm. How'd that happen? And why aren't the Bengals getting the same fucking treatment? You peddling their propaganda. Yeah. Me? Yeah. <laughs> this ain't me. Going into last year. A lot of people I wasn't had going to the say. Everybody had the Browns that yeah. were going. I mean, that's why it was such a disappointing year, I think, because of what the expectations were. For 20 years, nobody expected a damn thing out of the Browns, which I assume the same thing for the Bengals here. Uh, now, nah, Bengals had 11 win seasons like 10 years ago. Though. Yeah. Remember that? Yeah. 11, and 10. Carson Not even. Before that. Six. Six years ago, something like that. So I guess because they weren't just completely out of it, it wasn't overreaction to be, oh, they're all the way back. But I do believe the Bengals should be taken much more serious in conversation, especially with Bates coming back. I think that's a big deal. Just as somebody that watched the games last year and didn't know who the fuck Bates was, no offense, Bates. I got massive respect for the Wake Forest alum. But like, I think that is something that we are missing out on. And Jesse Bates has kind of brought it back in a conversation for us. The Bengals are a bunch of goddamn dogs over there. Yeah, absolutely. I feel like it has more to do with how good the AFC is, and it's a very similar situation to the Chiefs, where the Chiefs had a bad O-line, and their whole entire offseason was getting a good O-line, and that's exactly what the Bengals did. They kind of filled that one hole, and then still the Chiefs didn't make it back to the Super Bowl. So it's like the Bills are still there. There's so many other teams around, and the AFC North is stacked. What was that article where Joey Burrow was alluded to as saying, Nick, where was that from? It was uh, Sports Illustrated cover issue joey did not like the why not us thing that everybody was saying because cincinnati Bengals fans were like why not us hey we got a team that can go and joe burrow was like what it makes sense why not us Fuck it. we we yeah. are him dude we yeah. are that what are we talking about why not us? What, what is that even i love that from joey burrow and obviously i've only got to meet him one time at that ufc fight and he came up to me wearing a bucket hat a uh, bucket hat and sunglasses in the Smoothest baby face I've ever seen in my entire life. I had a neck brace on. Obviously, everybody does recall this particular evening. I didn't know who I was talking to for like two minutes because how nice, how professional. He looked sweet. I mean, he looked incredibly sweet. I'm like, oh, fuck, this is Joe Burrow. And I start talking to him. I'm like, hey, you're a guy, you know. And there was never a sense at all of doubt or like he isn't a guy. Like he even has the aura of a fucking superstar. I love them. I love the Bengals, and I like that they're becoming a business, you know? Like, I like that yeah. they're taking advantage of this particular thing, like every other team in the NFL has for the last 50 years or so. They understand it, I think. I think they see it, right, AJ? They know. They have to see it because they, they got a taste of it. They got to the Super Bowl. They almost won the Super Bowl. I mean, that last play, if Joe Burrow has an extra split second, like, they may have won the Super Bowl. That's how big of a difference it is now in Cincinnati than it was Three years ago, I feel like. Go ahead, Tom. I think it's absolutely criminal that they're not favored to win the division. Yeah, it's like they're tied, right? No, no. Especially Ravens with Big Ben ahead. leaving and, I mean, well. They Ravens have. plus 145 right now at FanDuel Sportsbook. Bengals plus 170 to win the a AFC North. Browns plus 370. And then the Kenny Pittsburgh Hell. Steelers at plus 950. Wow. That number's with Mitch starting. If Kenny starts, it's probably fucking plus 200. Something like that. You better put some money on it, Diggs. Well, Bengals last year already did it. Plus 1,400 to win the something division. Like that. And they ended up they winning. Were. And the Bengals now have become the picture of hope. In so many shitty football programs. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yep. Hey, four. There's Foxy. Listen, did you hear Foxy how loud he's no going? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Every up my Lions card for another 20 plus years because what the Bengals did last year. I'm so pumped. Shout out to the Bengals for doing that for the city of Detroit. <laughs> yep. You know, and let alone Hard Knocks compounding that. Like, hey, listen, you guys got hope and we're giving an inside look. Look what's going <laughs> on. Yeah. I mean, <laughs> maybe the Lions going to run this year, AJ. Maybe, maybe the Lions going to run, but that's what the Bengals have done.